Everyone is familiar with the dinosaurs and how they lived long ago on our planet. But there were other creatures who existed, and some even long before the dinosaurs. There were even creatures who ate other dinosaurs as they started to appear. From giant and scary cousins of millipedes to creatures so bizarre that it's hard to believe they even existed, we take a look at 10 terrifying prehistoric creatures that actually existed. Jecloptorus renaniae This creature was a giant predator and belonged to a group of now extinct sea scorpions called Eurypterids. They were some of the largest arthropods that ever lived, with some fossils showing the Jecloptorus could reach up to 8 feet long. They were formidable predators and they thrived in warm shallow waters on the early Earth and lived about 390 million years ago. This strange-looking creature looked somewhat like a lobster but was covered by a hard exoskeleton and a flexible tail that it likely used as a rudder to steer itself in the water. The animal's claws were armed with long, sharp teeth that would have grasped even a slippery fish. Held at the ready on two long folding arms, those claws would have been used to ambush prey, and they would eat anything. They were cannibals, but they also would eat some of the early armored fish that were around at the time. Helicoprion It's interesting to see how far evolution has come. For example, if we look at today's sharks and the sharks that existed during prehistoric times, you would think you were on a different planet. Helicoprion is an extinct shark which lived approximately 290 to 250 million years ago. But it's argued that it wasn't a shark, but a chimera which separated itself from the shark lineage around 400 million years ago. It must have been a terrifying creature and had a lower jaw that looked like a saw blade full of sharp teeth pointing straight outward. This shark, sometimes called the buzzsaw killer, was believed to have been 25 feet long and weighed approximately 1,000 pounds and most likely ate squids. It managed to survive the Permian-Triassic extinction event, an extinction-level event which killed 90% of all marine animals and 70% of all land animals. But a few million years later, it also became extinct. Gigantopithecus This was the large ape which once roamed the early prehistoric forests and jungles. Some fossils found indicate that this giant-sized ape stood as high as 10 feet tall and weighed as much as 1,300 pounds. It is believed that it existed between 9 million and even as recently as 100,000 years ago. Fossils found helped uncover that it roamed around the forests and jungles of Southeast Asia and took refuge in caves. It might not have been a terrifying bloodthirsty killer, but its size and its strength must have been intimidating. Jawbones and teeth that have been found in caves are all that is left of this giant ape. The creature was so big and heavy that it must have had to move using all four limbs like the modern-day gorilla. Although its appearance is not known because of the small amounts of bone fragments found, it is said that it probably resembled a very large orangutan. However, because it was so big, it went extinct during the Pleistocene Ice Ages, the climate changed, and there was not enough food to feed the huge beasts, and they eventually went extinct due to climate change and starvation. Arthropleura was a herbivorous arthropod that lived in what is now northeastern North America and Scotland around 315 to 299 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous period. And what made this creature terrifying was its size, its appearance, and how fast it could move. Fossilized footprints from Arthropleura have been found in many places. These appear as long parallel rows of small prints, which show that it moved quickly across the forest floor, swerving to avoid obstacles such as trees and rocks. Just imagine being in a forest and hearing a scratching sound of a giant millipede running towards you, or even a swarm of them. No, they wouldn't eat you, but it would be scary enough to see an 8-foot-long by 2-foot-wide armored bug running towards you at high speed. The flattened body of Arthropleura was composed of approximately 30 jointed segments, each of which was covered by two side plates and one center plate. The ratio of pairs of legs to body segments was approximately 8 to 6, similar to some present-day millipedes. Leviathan melvillii is the name of a prehistoric whale inspired by the biblical sea monster Leviathan. It existed around 10 million years ago. It was a member of a group of hyperpredatory macro-raptorial sperm whales or raptorial sperm whales and was likely an apex predator preying on whales, seals, and anything else unfortunate to get in front of its mouthful of 14-inch long enamel-coated teeth. The Leviathan measured around 45 to 60 feet long, making it one of the largest predators that have ever existed on planet Earth. The whale may have interacted with the large extinct shark Megalodon competing with it for food. 
Its extinction was likely caused by a cooling event at the end of the Miocene, which resulted in a drop in food populations. Smilodon Although commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, it was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gape than that of modern cats and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. The species has been found in North America and South America, with many fossils being found in the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. The largest fossil found indicated that the specimen weighed 490 to 880 pounds and measured 47 inches in height. Smilodon hunted large herbivores such as bison and camels. Smilodon died out at the same time that most North and South American megafauna disappeared, about 10,000 years ago. Its reliance on large animals has been proposed as the cause of its extinction, along with climate change and competition with other species. Dinosuchus is an extinct genus related to the alligator that lived 80 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Its name means terrible crocodile, and that is exactly what it was. The research was done when fossilized feces and oddly bitten bones of dinosaurs were found next to the fossils of this living creature. This was a dinosaur-eating monster that measured a massive 35 feet long, that's 10.6 meters, and had large robust teeth built for crushing, and its back was covered with thick hemispherical osteoderms, which are bony deposits that form scales. One study says that they may have had a lifespan of 50 years with the same growth rate of today's crocodile. Dinosuchus was probably capable of killing and eating large dinosaurs. It may have also fed upon sea turtles, fish, and other aquatic and terrestrial prey. In fact, this creature was big enough that it could lay in the water silently for a T-Rex and then take it down with no problem. This was a dinosaur-eating machine whose relatives are still alive today, the modern crocodile, and it is one of the longest surviving creatures on the planet. Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur which lived approximately 70 million to 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. But these creatures were not like the pterodactyl. They were more like giraffe that walked on all four limbs, but had wings or webs between the legs. It is said that they could leapfrog into the air using four limbs. Two were ultra-strong wings which, when folded and balanced on a knuckle, served as front legs that helped the creature to walk and leap sky high. These winged lizards were capable of flight and were thought to have ruled the skies more than 200 million years ago, until the mass extinction event that happened 65 million years ago wiped them out. They were the largest known flying animal to have ever lived. They had a long, sharp beak and a 33-foot wingspan. Originally, it was assumed to catch fish and crustaceans like most other pterosaurs, until it was realized that it lived 248 miles from any shore during the Cretaceous period and that there was no evidence for an inland water source for miles around. That being said, it was probably a scavenger and fed on the carcasses of dead dinosaurs and probably leftovers of larger predatory dinosaurs like Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. Titanoboa is an extinct genus of snakes and whose name means titanic boa. Fossils of this massive boa have been found that date back 60 million years ago. A fossil was found in Colombia that was so large that it stunned scientists and forced them to rethink the nature of prehistoric life. 58 million years ago, a few million years after the fall of the dinosaurs, Karajan was an immense swampy jungle where everything was hotter, wetter, and bigger than it is today. The trees had wider leaves and far more precipitation, more than 150 inches of rain per year compared to the 80 inches that the Amazon gets now. The river basin held turtles with shells twice the size of manhole covers and crocodile kin, at least three different species, more than a dozen feet long. And there were seven-foot-long lungfish, two to three times the size of their modern Amazon cousins. But the lord of this jungle was Titanoboa, measuring more than 40 feet long and weighing more than a ton. This giant serpent looked more like a modern-day boa constrictor, but behaved more like today's water-dwelling anaconda. It was a swamp denizen and a fearsome predator, able to eat any animal that caught its eye. The thickest part of the body would be nearly as high as a man's waist. T-Rex What can be said about the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex that hasn't already been said? 
Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short, was one of the largest known carnivorous dinosaurs. Its name means King of the Tyrant Lizards. T-Rex had strong thighs and a powerful tail which counterbalanced its large head. One of the largest fossil specimens of a T-Rex skull measured 5 feet long and had a mouthful of serrated teeth. The largest tooth of any carnivorous dinosaur ever found was 12 inches. The dinosaur's bite could exert up to 12,814 pounds force, that's about 57,000 newtons, which is roughly equivalent to the force of a medium-sized elephant sitting down. The dinosaur's front teeth gripped and pulled, its side teeth tore flesh, and its back teeth diced chunks of meat and forced food into the throat. These dinosaurs ate anything they could, even each other. T-Rex bones with deep gashes created by other T-Rex teeth have been found. However, it's not clear if the cannibalistic dinosaurs fought to the death or merely ate the carcasses of their own kind.